Hey guys, it's Madeline here. Um, so you can see there's been some changes. Over the summer, I was pretty inactive. I wish I was more active, but so many things changed and so much was going on that I didn't have the chance to really film or edit. So here's like the biggest change there was. We moved barns. And so here's like a barn tour. So first thing on the right is the stalls. And here's this one. I love these stalls because they are sliding doors, which we didn't have before. And here's Gypsy's stall. When we're gonna go in. Here's Gypsy. She's kind of dirty because she just came in. But we have everything you need in a stall. And way up top there we have fans. And this is in every stall. They're high-powered fans for the horses in the summer. And then as we go down, our horses also have fans on the outside hooked into a receptacle around the back there. Here is little Leo's stall. He's growing up quite well. And then over here, we have Buddy, who moved with us. He's a wonder pony. He's like a mix of everything. And then uh, this last stall is sort of like a run-in for the horses into the back pasture, but we'll get onto that later. And then on the left side of the barn, there are two empty stalls, or what could have been stalls, but they left them open to, for storage. And this, once this gets cleaned out, this is all the utility stuff from the barn owner, is where we're gonna keep like truckloads of shavings in over here. And then we have a little trail bridge that's really small, but we use it. And over here we use this open area as where we keep our hay and shavings at the moment. Sort of messy in here because sometimes the horses get out and this is straight where they go. And then over here is our tack room. We have bridle hooks all along this wall. We have a storage area where we keep our bottles, grooming kits, bathing buckets, and just random stuff on the bottom. We have this medical kit thing, bunch of spray bottles and refills. Bottom shelf down here just has buckets where we don't know where to put. Horse books, uh, trail patterns and all that in a binder. We have our mini fridge that holds all of our drinks and the freezer's a little too frozen. We have to clean that out. And then over on this side, we have all of our saddles and tack boxes. This on this side is my saddle and uh, saddle blankets. That's Krista's who boards with us and that's my Western Pleasure saddle and my short feet on top of it at the moment. But this is my tack box and my mounting block. And here's basically like our feed corner. The horse's feed is stored in the trash cans. We have a bridle cleaning hanger, but we use it to hang our helmets, uh, buddy stirrups, and lunge line. And now, oh, we also have a whip holder on this side. And moving out continually on this side is the wash rack. It has cross ties and all the nice stuff is directly out in front of the stall. And it's open. So horses can be looking at their friends and not have to worry about where their friends are. It's helpful because Leo and Gypsy, Marinful, they get sort of anxious, but now that they can see each other, they're fine in the wash stall. We have a pair of cross ties on this wall as well. And a towel we use to dry them off in the rain couple chairs and now we're gonna go out back we'll go out front in a minute so out back we have the back pasture there are water buckets out here because on the weekends they go out back the way out back this is the back pasture it was meant to be an arena but he didn't sand it so we can use this as a riding area but we used it as the weekend pasture. 
to give the main pasture a break. And way back there, that green gate, make it focus, is trails that we can ride. We just have to clean them up a bit and we're planning on doing that next weekend. And then coming over here, horses love to hang out over here. It's a little corner. And then there's the run-in stall where they can come in, escape the rain and get water. And this fence was not supposed to be like this, but the lady who was here before wanted to separate her mare in geldings. And so it doesn't go all the way to the end of the building, which is helpful for us because when we wean Gypsy and Leo, Gypsy's gonna be out here and Leo and Buddy are gonna be in the front pasture until we get them weaned. So that's gonna be helpful and once we're done, he's gonna move the fence back up to here so if we get another horse, they can all be in the same rotation. So I'm gonna go through this little escape thing to show you the front. This is the front pasture. It goes all the way around. And then we have our round pen and we can also open that gate if we want to let them into both. What I really love about out here is we have floodlights where if we want to ride out here, we can just turn on the lights. The round pen is lit. This area around here is lit so you can ride at night. And this barn is really nice about having open windows for the horses. They can all look out and just see the world, which is really helpful. And Leo can fit his head over this door, which he really enjoys. He's so happy here. And that is the end of our tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a bit of a mess still because we're still settling in. But I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys later.